Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. This is the fourth video of this tutorial series and in this one what we want to do is we want to query our database, get our tutorials, um, send them to the home page and instead of displaying this stupid flower we want it to actually display the Django video that we're referencing in YouTube. Alright, so in order to do that we need to make use of our model so we need to import our models into our views file and the views file is located inside the post where we uh, identified our index and everything this is where we're going to say from post.models or wait no that's not right from uh, tutorial dot models import and we're going to say tutorial alright so now that um, we've done that we can say tutorials equals tutorial dot objects dot all and then what I can do is I'm going to pass down and this can be any name you want but we'll say tutorials we'll keep it the same name and then the value is going to be the actual object here which is um, a list of Django query objects so what this does is it says grab everything in the database and we're just going to do that for, as an example for right now and then once it does that by doing this it sends it to the ten, uh, to the template and it sends it to the template under the name on the left hand side and then here's the value so in the template I would reference this value and this could be crap you know it could be whatever you want, want it to be but typically I make it be the same name um, so it's you know more sane to deal with alright so here is um, just as an example we're gonna just post this at the top and then we'll say for item in tutorials and we'll say item dot title alright so this is inside of our Django template now let's go ahead and see so I actually needed to restart the server but you can see that it's now displaying tutorial 1 and tutorial 2 which is what we thought it would do if there was a thousand tutorials they'd all be listed right one after another right now it's being displayed without any sort of styling or anything like that and we obviously don't want that that would look like crap so let's go ahead and move this and All right, let me think here. So, really, this whole thing down here, we're going to get rid of all three of these. And what needs to be repeated? So, let's do this real quick and then. Alright, so the image source, since we're using a video embed, and we're going to say item.title. In fact, the item's a bad name. We're just going to say for a tutorial. Alright, and the source needs to be an image. And we can actually, we can use YouTube's image here and these double curly braces are where we're actually going to put our video ID so this is um, we're going to call this tutorial and then dot YouTube ID I think that's what it is I don't know that I need I didn't need to restart the freaking server I didn't mean to do that Alright, so now what we have here is um, we're actually not going to be able to reference the image and the tutorial itself. What we need to do is have a for loop inside of our tutorial. So another for loop and we could say for video in 
tutorial and not tutorials because remember um, a tutorial can consist of many different videos in it and we just want the first video so really I want to say tutorial And this needs to say tutorial.videos.first. I think the first is going to work. I'm not sure about this, guys. I haven't done this in a long time. Um, so for video and tutorial videos first, I think this is going to work. And instead of tutorial YouTube ID, that doesn't even exist. We're going to say video YouTube ID. So let's see if we have any different results here. All right, so first isn't going to work in a mini to mini. All right, so instead of doing first, what we're going to do is instead we're going to say tutorial.videos.all and then we'll just say dot zero. So this will be it, it tells it to grab its first. All right, so it says the video object is not iterable, and I think that I'm really going about this the wrong way because ultimately, because it's not it's not, it's not iterable because there's only one video. But if there were multiple videos, then it would be iterable. But it but it, even that that wouldn't work. In fact, it would work if I took the zero off. I mean, really, what should happen is I I shouldn't be worried about picking the first. I should be doing this. that's what I should be doing that way it's going through every video in the tutorial because it's displaying every video it's going to display the image of the video that that's technically what you would want to do that brings up a problem though as far as like the design of the site tutorial pro should probably have its own video image and um, yeah I'll explain that more in just a second alright let, let's go ahead and just see see this in action real quick so now you can see since both uh, tutorial one and tutorial two only have one video and they both link to the same video you're seeing the same image over again and if there were multiple videos like um, I'll go ahead and add my second one here All right, so if we add the second one here, so I'll go into the first, I guess, the first tutorial, and we'll update that one, and we'll also include test two in it. So you can see in the video down below, you have both one and two being displayed. So with the carousel and all, all that stuff, obviously this wouldn't look good at all. I mean, really what you would want to do is you'd want to go into the index and instead of iterating through this entire list, um, we would just go like this. So we're going to say loop through all the all the tutorials and then uh, we can say 
tutorial dot videos dot all dot zero dot YouTube ID. So basically, only grab the first video of the tutorial series and display that. Which it still gives us two, probably because they're both active. What happens if I take one of these actives off? Doesn't work at all. So since it seems that Bootstrap needs to have this item active be first, um, this is going to be probably a little bit hacky here so let's just go ahead and just say uh, tutorials and we'll say slice and here we're just basically saying grab the, the first one that's a typo right there so what we're doing here is we're actually saying for this first loop just grab the first item in the loop and give it the style item active. There's probably a better way to do it, but just off the top of my head, I'm just doing it this way. So item active, but then the second loop, we don't want it to be item active. And we also, instead of saying grab the first, we want to say gra grab everything but the first. And don't display it in the active. Another thing to be able to differentiate my tutorial one from two, I want to grab one and I want to get rid of this first video. So basically they'll have different different images that are going to display since we're only displaying the image for the first video in the tutorial. All right, so anyway, guys, um So just a quick note again, Slice is actually saying with this code here, just grab the first one. So basically start at the beginning and stop at the first. This one says start at the the first and go to the end, so it's not going to grab the first one. And that way it'll iterate through two lists, and this should work. All right, there we go. All right, so I went ahead and I added um, two more tutorials to the list, also two more videos in each video. Uh, or each tutorial only consists of one video, but each uh, video is different. So that way when I say display the image from the first video, They'll all be different, so you can clearly see that this is uh, this is now working. So they're displaying all four different videos. So I mean, it's a little bit hackish, I think, having to do two different loops. Um, if I sit there and think about it, there's probably a better way of doing it. Um, but this this does get the job done. It's just, I mean, it's it's not that bad, I guess. I mean, it works. Um, so. Anyway, that is how uh, we query the database. So the object, I guess, now is to to build better styles to display this image. So basically, they should have better titling and captions and all that stuff. And the images really don't look all that good. Um, so it should probably be larger, maybe, or maybe not. I, I don't know. But um, basically, there should be definitely be some text laying on top of the carousel making it look better so you should play with that if uh, if you're following along step by step we also need to add a footer add some more links and everything to the site and um, I guess I'll probably get into that in the next video alright guys let me know what you think um, sorry about any sort of confusion hopefully I didn't lose any of you guys um, so the mini to mini stuff is a little bit more difficult than your typical uh, Django development but if you can get this stuff you can get anything else that comes along with Django. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Have a good night. Bye.